Hey everybody, welcome back to Paul Does Magic. It's your old buddy Paul. And this week, we're going to be doing a magic product review. We're going to be talking about Omega from uh, Max Major, released on Theory 11. Uh, so go grab yourself a cup of coffee or a nice frothy beverage and come on back and let me tell you all about it. All right, guys, thanks for joining us again today uh, for this here magic review. Today we are talking about, like I said, Omega from uh, Max Major and Theory 11. You can go pick it up over there for about 40 bucks. Uh, what is it? It's, it's a deck of cards. And it is a very special deck of cards and uh, I'll tell you exactly what I think about it it is probably one of the most powerful card tricks that you can put into your spectators hands and let them do all the work it's um, it's a highly gimmick deck so you're probably not going to want to try to do this for uh, magicians because they'll be able to f tell the difference in what this deck feels like versus a regular deck of cards uh, but I'm gonna say probably for most people they're not gonna they're not even gonna notice it but uh, the if you go and watch the uh, the trailer for it over on Theory 11 uh, it's a kind of a mentalism thing that he uses uses it for uh, prediction uh, but it is very cool because you can literally hand the box to your spectator let them pull the cards out let them look at the cards let them shuffle the cards pick a card and you tell them what it is that they picked no with no questions asked no no nothing you just know and uh, to me I, I feel like once we get out of the, the whole COVID crisis and pandemic thing when people can start talking you know touching each other again or getting close to each other again uh, this is going to be something that you're going to want in your arsenal. I can tell you, uh, I've had a chance to, to do, to, to use it here in the house on the kids and, and Christy. And I've tried different things with it. And they all work pretty well. And, but I'm telling you, to be able to get the cards out of your hands and into their hands, this is it's powerful stuff people i would uh i would definitely recommend it so uh without any further ado i'm gonna uh i'm going to uh see if i can uh kind of give you a little demonstration now, hang on there a second all right guys Let's take it down to the table and let me give you a very basic demonstration of how this effect works. All right. First, I gotta have a cup of coffee. That has nothing to do with what was fixing to happen. All right, I have a prediction card right here, okay? <clears throat> what we're gonna do, we're gonna open up the deck. Put it out here on the table. Spread it out. Let you guys look. Every card is different. Okay. All right. What we'll do next is we'll just take some cards and we'll just 
know what? Let's just do it like this. We'll mix them up so you guys can totally. They're just random. Okay? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut to a random card. There it is, your random card. And my prediction card. There you go. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I'm going to tell you right now, it works every time. Now, uh, do I have anything I don't like about this? Uh, not yet. I don't have anything I don't like about it yet. Uh, I have some concerns because uh, this this deck is heavily gimmicked. Like I said, I really don't think you have a problem with uh, with laymen, regular people, you know. But I wonder, after heavy use, how much abuse it's going to be able to take before it stops working right. Uh, I think that they have some tips on how to take care of it on the, within the, in the, uh, in the, uh, tutorial that comes with it. So, I'm assuming that if you go ahead and you take care of it like they suggest, it's going to last you a long, long time. But other than that, that's the really the only concern I have with it. I really, really do believe that this is a, uh, just genius it's 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 that kind of powerful so, uh and just so everybody knows let me be straightforward i'm not being paid to do this i'm not being endorsed to do this i bought this with my own money uh i had actually seen a few other reviews for it on uh, magic orthodoxy ecat did a review on it and i think i might have seen it somewhere else but i don't remember uh and then I thought, you know, that really looks cool. So I went and got it for myself. And I'm telling you, I think it's an awesome, 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 awesome trick to add to your arsenal. And I can see this being, I mean, I can see you can be able to do this on like Zoom shows and stuff like that. But really where it's going to be powerful is when you can do this in the spectator's hands. So, anyway, that's all we got for today. If you've, if you've got this one and you've got a, a comment or, or a different opinion, be feel free to leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. You might be able to persuade me to think otherwise. But as for right now, I think it's one of the best things out there. I know it's not new, new. I think it's probably about a year old or so, but, you know, hey, good and bad, it didn't matter how old it is as long as it's great uh but anyway like i said make sure you like comment subscribe notification bell all the stuff that helps out this channel follow us over on social media on the instagram and facebook and twitter uh paul does magic uh tiktok you can even send me an email at paul does magic at gmail.com and i will get back with you uh be looking for the artist spotlights uh, deck reviews, product reviews, and performances. And hopefully we'll have something up just about every week. Well, that's all I got for now. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!